Hello everyone, I am an ARC survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist is constantly watching you. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one on one with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist is constantly watching you. They are watching you continuously. They are watching you indefinitely. They are watching you without variation, deviation or change and often unceasingly and without pausing. Their eyes are locked on you because they're predators and you're more than just a snack. You're like a five course meal and they're hungry. They have a strong desire and craving because they're experiencing pain and weakness. So they're longing and yearning for your attention or to see what you're up to. They're desiring to be an observer of your life and that is why they are watching you. Because their lives have no meaning or purpose. They're bored and unhappy. They lack interest in whatever they're doing or they've got nothing to do. While you're constantly changing and moving so it arouses their curiosity and interest. It fascinates them and absorbs their attention. It satisfies their cravings. But at the same time, it irritates and frustrates them because they're anxious and impatient about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome or because they're wanting something very much with a feeling of unease and they're just waiting for something to happen or because they're experiencing failure or disappointment as a result of watching you succeed. So a lot of times it doesn't serve them by watching you. It's like they were watching television and they tune into the wrong channel, which was something they didn't really like. Because it's like they were watching someone else's life and they wanted it to be theirs. Because it made them feel bad about themselves and their life. But instead of changing the channel, they want to resolve the pain and distress that they've experienced from witnessing your happiness and satisfaction by going from being the audience to the director of your movie to then turn it into a comedy or a horror movie so that they can have a laugh at your expense or to put you through pain and suffering so that they can feel a sense of power from bringing you down which is why they're constantly watching you because you have something that they want or that they like the problem is it's not theirs so they become fixated on you and they're just waiting on your downfall. They're trying to find flaws in you or they're plotting to cause disruption in your life. Because they don't like that you're you. They see you as being greater than them and that makes them feel small. So they want to take you down a notch. They want to deflate and humble you. They want to damage your ego and pride because then it supports their illusion of being more intelligent, attractive, wealthy or confident than you are or whatever else they deem to be a source of power over you in that moment. Because when they have to witness you and your life, they feel powerless and insignificant. They feel as though they are without ability, influence and effectiveness, which is why they're watching you so that they can plan an attack to disable you and hinder your effectiveness because it threatens their grandiose delusions of themselves. It makes them feel unintelligent, unattractive, poor and unconfident, which is why they can't stand you because they can't stand themselves. And they're reminded of that every time they have to look at you and your life, but they just can't look away because there's something spellbinding about you that grabs their interest and they're so fascinated with it that it almost feels like magic. But then they also derive enjoyment from hating you because it makes them feel better about themselves. But at the same time they experience revulsion and distaste as a result of their inadequacies, their own inability to deal with a situation or with life, which is why they're constantly keeping an eye on you because it makes them feel like they have some type of power over you. It makes them feel like they're in control. 
as though if they're able to watch you, then they're not separate from what they're envious and jealous of. So it makes them feel more involved because they're viewing you as an extension of themselves, as something that belongs to them. And if at any time they feel like they're being overpowered by what they see, then they could just shun you away, at least in their minds, because they hate who you are and they hate who they are. They would rather be you. They would rather have what you have, which is why they hate you. Even though you might be doing things for them and giving things to them, that might just make them hate you even more because you're always happy and they're jealous of you and they can't match up to your level of kindness and goodness because they have to manipulate and step on people in order to get, in order to get ahead while you can just be you. The more you do for them and give to them, the more they will hate you because they know that you're too good for them. They don't feel worthy of the attention and affection that you are given and they think they are unable to meet up with the standards you have set because they're not as kind and given as you are. Narcissists are very traumatized people. They feel a lot of shame as a result of the things that they have done and the things that have been done to them. But they're doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame, which results in them raging at you whether it's overtly or passive aggressively. They're foul, immoral and corrupt while you're happy, innocent and pure. And you may not even feel any resentment or hatred as a result of what they've done to you. So it causes them to resent you and feel a lack of respect for you. They take it as an insult because they think it's unfair that you're kind and generous and that you're able to show positive qualities that they don't have. They feel a lot of shame for not matching you on reciprocation, and they try to dodge the shame by making you unaware of it, or by watching you and labeling you as stupid or foolish. It makes them feel better about themselves, because otherwise they feel foul and dirty. They're disgusted with themselves. So then they have to do you dirty. They have to cheat and betray you. They have to pull you into their mud so that it validates their illusion of you being no better than them. Because now, you've got dirt on you, so they don't feel so bad about themselves, which is why they will treat you unfairly, and they will treat you in a rude and dis disrespectful manner, because they have no respect for themselves, as a result of what was done to them or from what they were doing to you. They hate themselves, and it shows in the way that they treat you. Because they don't really know you. They're just projecting things that they don't like about themselves onto you. And then using that as an excuse to punish you. They never even took the time to get to know you. They never sat down and had a real conversation with you. Because it has nothing to do with you. They don't even care about who you are. Which is why when they're watching you. They're not looking for anything positive and they have nothing good to say about you because they're only nitpicking and fault finding. They're looking for anything bad about you and if they can't find anything, they will make it up or they will bring up things from the past. They will do anything they can to see you in a bad light because they're trying to offload these negative feelings about themselves onto you. They're relieving themselves of their own problems or worries by watching you and engaging with you because they don't want any part in themselves, which is why they love observing you because then they can offload their dis dispiriting and depressing experiences and factors onto you. They can create events and experiences that reduce your excitability and make you unhappy, which then acts as a shield against their past narcissistic injuries. And it's more comfortable for them that way because they feel safer being negative about the present or future than to face the truth about a painful past. When the reality is that they see that you're doing something good, they just don't want to give you credit for it. But if you catch them watching you and you call them out on it, even though you may mean well and maybe you're trying to correct them, they're not going to like it.
because they don't like themselves. So they want to continue with their dysfunctional behavior. They want to continue doing things that are hurting themselves. Which is why you may see them acting weird all of a sudden and for no apparent reason. But it's because maybe they saw you post something on social media and maybe it was the last thing they saw from you. So when they see you again, they act weird because they're still holding on to something you said on social media, even though you may be right in front of them. Because they hold grudges, they hold on to things from the past. So they have an inaccurate perception of you because they're incorporating random posts that you have made on social media, even things that you may have said days or weeks before and they're making it relevant in the present moment as though nothing has changed during that time because they don't really know you they have no interest in who you actually are so they can take something you said in the past and make it relevant today without considering the fact that you've changed and grown a lot since then and the reason why they do this is because they don't change they stay the same so they believe that you stay the same. They blow things out of proportion and they assume that everything you say or do has something to do with them because they're constantly watching you and they have a mental disorder. They have an inability to look beyond their own perspective. They lack empathy. So they cannot consider how you might think or feel about something. It's just all about them. And they view you as an extension of themselves. But they lack self-reflection. So they have low self-esteem. As a result of past experiences of trauma, rejection and mistreatment. They're paranoid. And they believe that everything revolves around them. Which is why they're hypersensitive to criticism. But they're also delusional. So they may interpret events as being about them. In order to garner sympathy and attention or even just to stroke their own egos. And they prefer to watch you rather than actually having a conversation with you because they have poor communication skills and difficulty in expressing their emotions and needs effectively, which is why they then misinterpret your intentions and perceive everything through a personal lens, which is why they feel so strongly about anything you might say or do. And it's why they're so quick to leave or turn against you. It's why they become haters. Because they think everything's about them. And they're very insecure. They lack emotional intelligence and emotional depth. They lack the capacity to register, interpret maturely and sensitively express. And skillfully respond to feelings in themselves and other people. Which is why they're intimidated by your emotional depth and substance because they're very shallow and this is why they hold grudges it's why they can't let things go it's why they're constantly watching you because they think everything's about them so they're just waiting for the next thing you're going to say or do which will give them another reason to keep watching you and they're just driving themselves insane because nothing you're saying or doing really has anything to do with them but they think that it does. They make it about themselves because they want to feel relevant and important. And in some sick, twisted way, many of them actually enjoy it. It makes them feel like they're a part of something when really it's something that doesn't even concern them. But they make it about them because they suffer with feelings of loneliness and abandonment. So they make it about them to feel like they have some attention so that they're less alone in a world that they fear has forgotten them because they have a fragile self-esteem and yet their mental disorder includes an unreasonably high sense of importance and a need for excessive admiration which is why they can't help but watch you because it makes them feel better about themselves and it gives them a sense of power and control when otherwise, they would feel like they're unable to deal with their lives. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you can book a one on one with me on our website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon